Hello, this is Michael Jones. Thank you for joining me. I thought I'd just spend a couple of minutes on a topic that, has, um, that is very prevalent um, in my life, and I have no doubt that it's very prevalent in your life, and that's really about character assassins. And one can particularly relate it back to your environment of work. And we are all guilty to some extent as to how we engage with people, what we say about people. And it's really about the, the office politics and the office gossip. And I want to maybe just caution and, and probably learn out of this, caution everybody out there, is that we need to be mindful of what we say. We need to be mindful of our words and the impact that it has not only on the individual's emotions, but also the impact that it may have on the person's um, well-being in terms of coming to work and enjoying themselves at work, but also future prospects. I think ultimately what we need to be mindful of and guard against is that we, we start to generate and create an environment that really only um, that reflects on, um, reflects on you. And I always say that leadership, or in this case, personal leadership, is really a reflection of, of, of you. Uh, it's a, the environment is a reflection of what you contribute to that environment. So, um, a pressing and quite a stressful situation that happen at work is how people manage their, their sort of consistent and, um, bombardment of, of character slurs, uh, and this, uh, as the topic says, is character assassination, really. So we got to watch the office politics, the office gossip, um, and really understand how do we behave in a, in a way that's better, that will contribute to a positive environment. It is, it's not good enough for us just to just to stand by and, and, and accept it. I know there's been a lot of talk about, about, about the, another topic, which is really about how do we engage uh, uh, w and see females, for instance, women. What is it that, that we do as a society to objectify women? And so it's, it's very similar in the way we think and the way we behave. And what we say will start to shape and form our perceptions uh, of of, a, of an individual, and that really can be very destructive. I would call on everybody to really do some introspection and see what it is that you need to do. Just one thing you need to do to change um, your thinking and behavior to really make a difference in your space. So um, as I just quickly um, reflect is that... Um, we we often find your your narcissists, your bullies, uh, which was also a topic that I that I, that I discussed on on a show, the big fantastic show on TV. But it is really these people, these people that that for some or other reason find it important to self gratify, to self um, to self satisfy. Um, they're self-centered, and everything is about what they can achieve or gain out of a relationship um, off the backs of other people's failures. And really it's about insecurity. What is it that, that makes someone deny another person's greatness? What is it that allows someone to really go out of, of the way to destroy and find an opportunity to degrade and belittle um, an individual so that they can project and propel themselves forward for whatever reason, in whatever space. I think we all have to guard against these people. We all have to understand that we have to claim and control our space. And we have to make sure that this type of behavior does not persist and grow in, in our immediate spaces and in our workspaces and in our communities as well as in our societies that we uh, live and grow and rear our children in. 
So in a, in a very sort of roundabout way, this is my message to say that be mindful of your interaction and your engagement and really do some real good introspection. We are here to make a difference. We are here to change and be better people. We are here to elevate and evolve our being. We are here to really leave a legacy. What legacy do you want to leave? What difference do you want to make in your life, in in the lives of those people around you, those people that you touch? The appeal is make that difference today. Make the change. Be something to someone. Thank you.